Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Records. Uh, looks like. Hey guys, welcome back to Survival Records. So, um, I was able to get away from that uh, that that aggressive guy coming at me, and I'm on my way back here to work on building up a base. Fuel low. Now, uh, unfortunately, I have already Fuel been here. Critical. I've already done this. I've already built a bit of a base attached to this. All of my recording has died, so I'm kind of like coming through, finding old saves, you know, the backups that are being done automatically. So hopefully I can show y'all what I've figured out. Uh, let's get one of these and let's grab some material for it. Now, we already know that the, um, you can explode this thing and not have it go off, right? So, we're gonna put one of those down there, and you then love. let's just, uh, oh, let's randomly decide to put a, a jump drive there. Now, a jump drive and gonna be fun in that. We don't want to jump drive that. Oh no, we can't get rid of it. Turns out, if you set one of these up, it will now blow, it'll now explode and detach. And, mm, ouch, ouch. Okay, and now this is a different a subgrid now. It's a separated grid. So what I need to do is actually build out a base attached to this via warheads so that I can separate them from everything afterward. And one of the things I'm going to do is grab merge blocks and attach a merge block to the top there in order to get it to, uh, to be able to attach and detach. And I'll be able to build out a platform over the top of this with the merge blocks. And, uh, let's see, there was another little trick I figured out. You had to put two more of them on, because in order to get the merge block to attach face-to-face, -face, so to speak, where they merge, you can't just attach them where the teeth are, like that normally. Technically, this is only being able to snap here because it's connecting to that side of that warhead. So, if I want to have both of these merge blocks be connected and merged, where I could then disconnect them and reconnect them. Because one of the things that I want to be able to do is build out a big old base, but then leave and separate the different parts of the base on uh, as different grids. So I want to have a section that's the bottom, and then a section that's the walls, and a section that's the roof, and a section that you know, allows me to still have this down here be uh, what it, I want it to be. Anyway, let's uh, skip forward a little ways and see what I've built out. All right. Let's see, I... So I, I have the audio from my recordings. Hey, stop that. Critical. So I can kind of tell, like, where I am and what I've done. I built out this whole bottom platform. It, you know, it's uh, ten... Four ten by ten squares, uh, ten out on either side. Ends up being a little, uh, little more than 400 blocks. The root... I have a reason Fuel I low. want to keep the original temple to be the main Fuel grid. Critical. 
uh, which we'll get into later. But anyway, the that's why I'm going through all this effort of making the merge blocks. because uh, And also, the other aspect of it is, if I want to make any adjustments to anything, I have to turn off the merge block, and then make adjustments, turn the merge block back on. But also... A merge block won't merge to static grids, even if it, even if they had originally been connected, right? So, in order for a merge block to merge to grids, one of them at least Hello. needs to be a uh, dynamic grid. So, like, right here, this, I can never, I can't use those merge blocks here, because these are static grids that have to have to cut off everything turn it into a dynamic grid then remerge it pain in the butt so I got to be extra careful here uh, after this part I decide to start building on a roof the roof first so I'm going to end up building out a uh, I think yeah I think I'd start it from right like right here and up and then I'd use a merge block somewhere in this area yeah and so I like I do this and then I need to drop the merge block on it perfectly so that Beautiful. I can then get it to work, but like like that's not even close enough. I'd have to nudge it further that way some. Anyway, uh, let's check in with how it looks once I get the roof on. I build a spine up here and then out that way. So let's fast forward to the future. There's a three by three. Okay, here we are. Uh, it, listening to the yes. uh, that the last recording in the background there that was me talking but anyway uh, here's where I left off for the day I had built up this stem built that stem across parked the Silvarse right in the right location so I could like kind of measure how big I wanted it to be um, instead of doing full blocks, I started doing these half blocks, or, uh, not half block, armor panels, and I end up have it being three wide, so there's, uh, another one like that, and, oh, that's the annoying thing. Those patterns, there's only two ways to do the pattern, I wanted to keep them the same way on both sides, uh, so I had to color in a few of them more down here to double check Ooh, my, uh, my location and then the next thing I did was yeah here we go I start using these big old glass panels fuel critical yep and attach them like this oh well I don't have any girders uh, that makes the roof much larger, uh, much easier to go. And Fuel after critical. this recording, after this point, I do catch back up to where my recordings or were working properly, and we'll be able to jump back in to where we were, uh, where I am recording this live. So, yeah, sorry about the little bit of a having to do a recap without you, but, um, you know, it wasn't all that exciting anyway. It was mostly me faffing around trying to figure out how to do this building, this construction. Because being able to, you know, make a... Do, being able to construct something where you can't make adjustments to it is really frustrating. Like, okay, I wonder what'll happen if I disconnect that. Oh yeah, the whole thing's off. So even if I turn it back on... Oh, that was really close. See, so I'd have to double check everything, but like, watch what happens here. If I go, no, stop that. Okay, nope, nope. Oh, damn it.
Well, that's a bad example. Here, this is a better example. This is a static grid. It's not going to become a dynamic grid if I disconnect it in the uh, down below here. So if I disconnect, turn that off. Okay, now I can cut my way through here, make changes and adjustments, but I can't turn this back on and have it reconnect. There, see? That doesn't reconnect. In order for this to reconnect, I have to make it a dynamic grid, which doing that did it. Yeah, there we go. So now, I wonder, does that reconnect? Sometimes the two static grids are lined up properly. Hmm. Okay, now that's done. Can't break that. Ah, okay, see, this is why it took me so long to record this first part, because I spent so much time messing about trying to figure out how this would work. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the live recording. And uh, I'll see you as the episode progresses. Well, you know, I'm up here uh, putting these glass panels in. And I'm trying to decide how much do I lean into the whole absurdity of it being invulnerable to damage. You know, it, it, it's not like it's completely unheard of. There are safe zones that just bind the physics in place so that, you know, um, kinetic energy just can't do anything. Uh, we see it right up there. I just happen to have that effect on this without a, uh, without having it be within a zone. It just has to be physically attached. I suppose that's good enough of an excuse to, to work it out. Anyway, um, I think the other, the other aspect is I really need to design this so that it's aesthetically pleasing in, in one go. Um, you know, for instance, I don't want to uh, uh, have to, you know, disconnect and, and remake everything. Uh, all right. Well, we've got a safe zone, sort of, without uh, that. Um, I think I'll go with a line, another line of this stuff. Yeah. Because the other, the next thing I'm thinking of is putting a line of conveyors up here above the roof, out to various... Um, little like installations of guns along the, the, along the path here so that when something does come and try and shoot me up I'll be able to down it uh, using the the guns I have prepared probably large guns large guns would be, would be pretty fun I think that would be a good thing to do so we have four four panels of glass let's go with three wide panel of these panels here. Yeah. And then another set of four glass windows. All right. Okay, so it's mostly complete, uh, at least in terms of frame of the roof. Fuel I need to add a uh, couple of walls. Walls on either side, and then I have an idea for a door. 
you remember my asteroid base, I figured out how to do a door that becomes merges to the grid, part of the grid. Now, I don't need to worry about it being airtight this time. I just need to have enough overlap that bullets can't get through. So, to that end, I think I'm going to worry about, um, yeah, doing a one wall at a time. I think, I, I think I'm going to do each wall along the outside is now a separate grid as well but let's let's look here I want to go ahead and have this nope. Fuel below. Another way. I'm going to have that continue along and get the block that transitions between them properly and I'm also a little worried because I was just informed the combat phase has begun so, that'll be interesting. Evidently, the sun is going down. So, bring it back if something exciting happens. Alright, let's show you what I've got going on here. I'm building up a little rim around the roof. All the way around fuel critical and as you can see it extends over the top of the roof it's a separate piece all of that is this is probably very dark in uh, in your view sorry uh, maybe I should wait for sunlight to come through again but I'm getting a lot of work done fuel critical. There. Uh, yeah, so it's not connected, but, you know, a bullet coming in this way is going to hit either there or there, and then if a bullet comes in this way, it's just going to hit the inside there. But clearly, a distinct piece. And then, as you can see back here, I've got window pieces staying at that angle. And then I'm going to have them drop straight down with big window panes all the way around, at least on three sides. And then I'll have I'll probably have a door of some variety over there. All right. I'll bring you back. Uh, I'll bring you back when the sun's back out. Okay. Uh, that's problematic. know what this guy wants. But I'm gonna get out of way, out of here. Lazaretto mercenaries. Alright, stop going up. Hopefully Parallax there doesn't care that I'm going past them. Right, I'm out of here. Okay. Uh, let's get inside properly. All right. Undertaker, Strike Fighter, and uh, Lazaretto both coming at me still. Sun's on the other side. I uh, guess I can maybe spin myself around. Fortunately, I am still able to go faster than these guys through drifting through space. Yeah, that guy is coming right at me. Whatever that thing is. I'm going to start trying to boost this direction as well. Which hopefully will circle around so that I can actually see what the heck is going on. I'll bring you guys back when we're, you know, moving in that direction more. 
Alright, well, I don't know. I'm... Oh, I'm not sure I want to engage this guy at all. He's clearly got a lot of guns. Oh man, it kind of looks funny. I, I, I vaguely rec remember, recognize that ship. There might have been a model of one of those ships sucking the ice down on the planet ages and ages ago. Those are two fighters that are coming along with me. I could do the whole kiting thing and getting them to, to follow, but I might just jump away and then have them have them lose track of me. Let's see what happens if I let them close distance just a little bit. So now that's me drifting backwards at 70 meters per second. He's closing in. And I think those other two little support vehicles are just behind. Yeah. Oh, you know something else? Let's move at full speed. need to do this very carefully. to right now. Okay. At three. I pressed two by mistake. Dang it. Okay. But it worked. Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, no, that didn't quite work. Uh, three. Back off. down, back off some more, and three again. Okay, now I'm not going to blow anything up. Now let's go back in here and see about dealing with this guy, because now I can shoot him with my big guns. So let's see how this guy likes chasing after somebody who uh, who can fight back from a greater distance. Alright. I'm getting sparks throwing off because I'm bumping into it. But... Come on. Come on, lock the target. The Lazaretto has lost the target, hitting the last known look. Yeah, like. What's going on? No, I don't want. I want to lock that. Those missiles definitely blowing up before they get to me. But they fired before they got to me, right? Nice. 
I am not getting a clean read on what's going on with this thing. Suddenly laugh. Slow down. Am I getting away? Well, I'm still hitting him at three kilometers. Well, it's because we're moving so fast. This is... I think this is just a waste of ammo right now. Like... 50 kilometers. Let's, uh, let's jump to... Let's just jump in this direction. Say la vie, El Lazaretto. Hmm. Now the question is, what do I do right now? try and go ahead and grab this backwards, so to speak. If I grab it backwards... Yeah, I think if I grab it backwards, I'll be able to stay connected to it. Yeah, this will work. Grab it backwards, I stay connected to it, and I can uh, still fire out my front guns. I hate when it gets hard like this. Oh, come on. I'll bring it back when I'm finished. Oh, dang it, I haven't stopped yet. And I've got the OIPC Inquisitive Exploration Vessel coming at me. Come on. Is it coming at me, or is it just sort of out here in space? It looks like it's moving sort of off to the side. Okay, so that's not a active, aggressive threat. So close. Oh, thank God. Okay. <sighs> Stop wiggling a little bit, and then we can lock. Now. Let's stop moving completely. Cancel out all drift. Unlock. 
wait for it to rebind. And then just straighten now because you know what? Uh, May as well. All right. Let's get back to the base and finish what we were doing. Oh, yeah, and they're, they're warning me to stay away. Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. Uh, okay. Oh, hey, I uh, waited for the sun to come up a little bit so you can see better what's going on here. Fuel, critical. Oh, and come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. Fuel, That's critical. a better view. Ah, now. Here's a good spot to stop. So, as you can see, they aren't touching all the way around there. That's intentional. You know, anything kind of shooting from this angle wouldn't be able to hit anything but what was up there and there. Assert, not aggressive. Down here. Critical. This is gonna kill me. Oh, no, it didn't. We are gonna go with some three by threes. And we're just gonna wall off the sides. Uh, I'm gonna put solid blocks in the corners, and then that will be a uh, almost completely enclosed shed. Missing just a little bit on the front end there while I figure out the door. So, yeah, this is cool. That's cool. Don't want to attach it to the front, I want to attach it down. Like this. And like that. And then... Probably don't even need to worry about it coming. No, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'll just do this. And bam. Right down into the tough on the moon surface. Cool. Alright, let's 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 do that. I just need a, you know, what, four down along either side, all the way around. That's another... Four times four is sixteen, plus three times that. Okay, I better go get more uh, girders. That heavy cruiser is readjusting its position. Uh, and I think it's coming at me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good thing is it's coming straight in here. Um, I'm going to unlock from that. And... Uh, I think my only hope is to get it to, like, yep, yep, look at that, it is, in fact, firing, Okay. It somehow hit my turret. Okay. Yep. Go. Go that way. This isn't good. Why is it not shooting? Okay, shoot 
everything you've got at something else. Turn around. Uh, what's going to happen here? All right. It's drifting that direction. As soon as it stops drifting that direction, I'm going to book it. Took some damage to the solar panels up top. Okay. Alright, and it's coming after me. Let's get up out of this. Uh, yeah, out of the planetary gravity. Is it coming after me? I think it's coming after me. Alright. Let's not worry about the... What's it called there? That's right, that's what you get. I'm, I, you know, I think what I need to do is get a full size railgun attached to this. Because, like, oh, imagine how much more damage I'd be able to do with just coring this thing right down through the center. Oh, you juked. Come on. There we go. Alright, well, I'm going to core this thing out. See what I can do with it once it's disabled completely. thing is coming to pieces, but it does have pretty good armor right there. Oh, give me a different face to look at, sure. Swapping back and forth between the two is uh, being sort of pretty effective, actually. Nice. Nice. 
nice, nice, nice. Be more in the back here. Well, there you go. Jerk the controls in the last second. I'm gonna catch that side of him. Nope, he doesn't want me to. Alright, well. Take off that gun in the back of it. Okay. Oh, that was just some bad luck. Okay, I think I have just a gun on the back to worry about. Less of those. That's something from a cert. Try and get your guns pointed at me. Oh, there's a decoy. Okay. It's probably lots of decoys. This is just chewing straight through the hull, trying to get to that gun on the back. Yeah, see, it's... right up in there. See, what I'm planning on doing is capturing this until I can, you know, sell it. Ah, they're just... A mods communication satellite, I don't know. Easier if this thing just stopped moving. Well, a 
Let's try and take that out with the next shot from the railgun. Bring you guys back if this is gonna do anything other than just sit here. look like those look like hydrogen tanks um well that one's dead Okay, let's get a clean shot on that last turret. Okay, I think I might have just finally got it. My guns aren't shooting at anything anymore. Nothing on it's shooting at me anymore. Alright, I'm gonna try and grab it. make any sudden moves. Come on. Dang it. My thing's all messed up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and Fix it. All right. All right, all right, all right, come on. And I just gotta make sure I don't bang it hard or anything. It is on auto lock, right? Auto lock on, okay. OK. 
Come on. Okay, well, uh, uh, mm, try and board it, I guess. Interior turrets, uh, makes sense. Well, man, most of those should be dead by now. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, right, and because of that, we're pretty much stable now. That was a nice, easy find right away. Oh, there's a tiger kitty. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Now I just gotta worry about the mod's communication satellite. Why is there an ATM? All right. That's a full thing. Uh, there's a lot of hydrogen on this. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, let's think about what we want to do now that we're here. Oh, there was a jump drive. Oh, and I was beating it up. I beat it up a lot. I was shooting at it. I mean, I did have a guess that this was in here somewhere. I guess that makes it makes sense that it was in there. Um But uh, what do I do? I wanna... Let's take out this. I should, I've killed the remote control box, so I should be able to grind this. Yep, okay. Inventory full. Let's dump that back out of our inventory. Uh... Oh, I'm all kinds of beat up. Okay, okay, let's... Uh, what do I want to do? Let's get our tanks full off of that first. All right. Uh, yeah, I need to build. Uh, I need to build up a connector, uh, and I need to connect to the ship all right let me get to work on that looks like most of them on that side got damaged some so we'll work off of that side then okay let's restock Right, I just threw a connector on the end there. Oh, plenty of fuel in all of the... Man, it's just an entire arm full of tanks. This is 
ridiculous. Oh, there. That's not a tank. Yeah, well, anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to use the hacking computer on this piece of monstrosity, because... Yeah, because it's, uh, it's pretty dang big. Uh, and I don't, uh... I don't know uh, what else I could do. I mean, I'm not gonna... It'd just be a long process to try and hack everything else. So, to that end, let's go ahead and throw a few of these on here. Um, right here, I can access that. Yeah, just like this. One, two... Four. One, two, three, four, and let's get it done. All right, I'm jumping with this whole thing down to the go, 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 go. What's going on? I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um. I don't even know what it just happened. Why I started getting shot at. Uh. But I was gonna jump to this Poseidon station. Because that seemed like a good idea while the hacking computers worked. I'm really glad I did, because I don't know what just happened. I started... I just literally just got shot at. Okay. Um, I'm not moving anything anywhere, because I don't have... Oh my god. Oh. Okay. That was scary. This is problematic. No wonder I'm, I'm missing it. Oh my god. Ooh. I need to put a chair on this thing to pilot it and turn off its dampeners so that I can then move it. That, that's that's what I need to do right now. Uh, oh, and then there's also a second jump drive on here somewhere that isn't all blown to pieces. Maybe in there? I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, chair. Uh, to helm. Helm will work. Get rid of that and that and uh, put all that stuff back. There we go. Run. There. Now we can use this and get right up there at the trade station, dump it inside. At least I'm able to get it to, uh, get it to move slightly. Oh my goodness. Guys, I, I hate to have to leave you like this, but, uh, I, I, I can't, I, I can't, this isn't even finished. Okay, let's get this. I'm, I'm far too over for my time. Uh, I need to get some of those small steel tubes there. Get them from here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to 
have to end the episode now, and I'll bring you guys back when I limp my way over to... The, I don't even know what shot at me. Just unload a vol... Uh, it unloaded a volley of... Uh, I am so glad that I had planned on jumping. I had no idea that that was coming at me. I was I was attached. I it. Wow. And this is why I don't feel bad about creating a little uh, impervious base down there. Oh my goodness. Okay, where where was I with all this anyway? Eh. That's back together. I think the I think we're back in business connection wise. All right, well guys, I'm going to I'm gonna end the episode and I'll see you guys next time on Survival Records where I will hopefully uh, be pulling myself back together. Can it literally cord me out completely. If it had fired there instead of there, I'd be dead and I'd lost everything. Wow. <sighs> Alright. I'll see you next time on Survivor Records and uh, until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>